So, so David, when when did Christopher? Uh, he'd come. He'd spent six happy years at BBC Radio Features. When did Christopher first appear on your radar? Well, I suppose when uh, the, the, we caught first sight uh, of his uh, uh, of that first film he made about uh, Jackie Dupre, uh, and it was very clear that it was a, a, a new directorial voice on the same wavelength, the same, and the, <laughs> indeed the same note uh, as those who were taking part in it. <laughs> And, um, and Christopher certainly uh, looked after Jackie's um, legacy uh, and indeed created the image that we all now carry of, of Jackie. I mean, he was, he was instrumental in that. I mean, there have been a lot of great cellists. Um, but, but if you asked someone, who, a non-musician, to name a cellist, I would have thought that it, certainly of my generation, Jacqueline Dupre's name would come up pretty quickly. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, then it's because of Christopher's films about her. He, he would see a talent, a young talent, um, in which he knew, as a, as a musician himself, this is a special person and worth making a film about. I mean, I can see her now. I mean, uh, uh, he introduced me to her, um, and I, uh, when she became ill, I used to visit her. So I, I also think of her with, with affection. Uh, and she was an extraordinary talent. And as a consequence of, Chris, of Christopher's work, People now, young people today, can actually see something of what that talent was. <laughs> 